It is called the beast or the train of death. And it's heading north, arriving in the southern Mexican pueblo of Ixtepec. When it's in the midst of its journey across Mexico, hundreds of migrants sit on top and in between its cars. Many people get hurt or killed boarding or getting off while it's moving. And that's why it's known as the train of death. The train in Ixtepec is making a pit stop. And many of the people on top of the train for as many as eight hours are getting off for food and water. This Honduran man was one of the passengers. He says the ride wasn't so bad that he left Honduras to find better work. Like many of the passengers, he is extremely hungry. Most people get off the beast right now to go to a nearby shelter and we'll catch the next train. But some people like these guys up there will stay on this train because they don't want to miss this when it leaves. The shelter in Ixtepec provides food, water, medical care, and is well known among migrants who can spend as much time as they want here. Two-year-old Richard of Honduras is here. His foot was cut off when he and his mother were run over by one of the train wheels when they were trying to get off. The arm of his mother, Emily, was partially detached. She pulled her son off the tracks with her good arm just before her son would have been killed. She says, I couldn't believe what was happening while it was taking place. One of the things I thought was if this is God's will, then it's God's will. Unaccompanied children share this facility with adult migrants before they go back to the beast for the rest of the journey north. Volunteers, many from the United States, help take care of them. Emily is an artist, a painter, who dreamed of practicing her craft in the U.S. I ask if she and her two-year-old will continue their journey to the United States. Mm, we'll see. She says yes, so none of this will be in vain. The beast will be leaving soon. This guy's waiting to get on the train right now. He's waiting for it to slow down and up, and he says he wants to go to the United States, and he's going to stay on until he gets to the U.S. border. The journey with other train connections will take no less than 12 or so days, for many much longer, if they make it at all. Once people start boarding, they have no idea when it actually will start its trip to the north. It starts and stops for a while while they get it back on track. And I'm not going to go for a ride. I'm going to get off before it's going very fast. But it's anybody's guess when it will get to the United States. I'm getting off now because it's starting to go fast. This is a life for the very motivated and very desperate.